Hello and welcome to episode 150 of my podcast all about knitting and crochet and my yarn shop here in Wiesbaden, Germany. I'm Kiko and today is July 25th, 2022. Today I'm wearing a lace shawl that was designed by Susanna IC and when I knit it, it was a mystery knit along called Summer is Coming and then when the pattern was um, completely published, the name was changed to Calendula. <coughs> Um, and this is what it looks like. So it's a very light and very um, lacy lace shawl with lots and lots of beads and I really like it a lot. Um, the yarn I used I think is Drops Lace which is a mix of alpaca and silk but uh, it should be on my Ravelry page which will be linked underneath the video. So if you're curious, you can check it out. And um, yeah, it's a very beautiful lace shawl. And it's almost exactly the same color as this color in my four color cotton top um, that I forgot to bring last week. So I couldn't show it as a finished object, but now you can see it as what I'm wearing. Here you can see here I started off the four colors on top of each other and then I knit them in this helix method so there's no beginning of round and then I split to the four different colors for the fronts and backs and um, yeah really happy with um, how it worked out this is what I have left of my 50 grams of yarn so I used the Catania which is a pure cotton and I used less of 50 grams of each color um, Fun fact, all the leftover yarn balls are slightly different. So <laughs> I would have thought I'll use the same amount of each color, but I used a different amount of each color, which is quite funny. <laughs> yeah, and this time I'm wearing it like this. And um, I'm really happy that the lace shawl is such a perfect fit. And next time I'll try and um, either find something green to wear with the top or make something because I don't think I have any green shawls or or scarves or anything but I have to see yeah but for today this is um, a good fit yeah that's what I'm wearing then on to finished objects I have one proper finished object and one something like a finished object <laughs> but I finished my plaid pocket socks number two so this is the second version I knit uh, from this pattern. Um, this was a sock madness pattern that I um, knit this year during the sock madness in three solid colors. But I really liked the effect with this colorful yarn, opal yarn. And um, so I knit that outside the competition in my size. And I'm really happy with uh, the way the pattern looks. I'm really happy to have a pair of socks with pockets on them. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you need them, but I think it's fun to have them. And I'm really happy that I finished the socks. And I can now take a picture of all my finished Sock Madness socks from this year. The, the other sort of finished object is another dishcloth that I will add to um, my project page of dishcloths. This is crocheted out of Hobby Yarn. It's also one of their... Uh, free patterns on their website and I showed the beginning of the dishcloth in the hobby video that I did uh, two weeks ago and now I finished the dishcloth and um, yep really happy with it it's their rainbow cotton um, is it six eight or eight six or something like that um, but I'll um, yeah you can check it out on the either on the in the hobby video or I'll um, put the information on the project page. Yeah, so these are the finished objects for today. Then on to works in progress. And now the oldest pair of socks that I have on the needles are my uh, Catherine McCauley socks out of the Blue Stockings book. And I'm knitting this Opal subscription color as part of the pattern battle where we all knit this color but everybody knits a different pattern so this is the pattern uh, in the Catherine Macaulay socks it's a 
really easy but very effective um, pattern with um, it's not it's like mini cables but you don't you don't knit them with a cable needle but you just um, cross two stitches it's really well explained in the pattern and I started I not only started the increases for the heel I almost finished them I think there's one more increase to go um, can you see that there are increases running up here and then once I finish them I will do the heel turn and then I can knit the legs of the pa uh, of the socks really happy with these the next pair of socks that I have on the needles are the Film Reel Socks by Alex Parker Mooney. She's the designer of these socks and I'm knitting them for my nephew. So I finished two of these sort of films. And as you can see, these are different films, different colors uh, in these um, sort of pictures, which I think is really funny. And I knit half the heel. And as you can see, I um, I really like knitting colorwork socks with these mini uh, circular needles by Chao Gu. I really like them for the for the round bits, but not for the heel. So I'm using the Adi Crazy Trio needles. Sometimes I use double pointed needles um, for the heel because it's just easier for me to go. Um, to knit and purl on these needles than on the tiny circular ones. Um, yeah, but these are the film reel socks. Um, I want to have them finished um, in the middle of August because that's when my nephew's birthday is. So I want to have them finished by then and his feet are really big by now. So <laughs> there's quite a bit of knitting uh, waiting for me. But yeah, still enjoy the pattern a lot and love the way they look. And then I cast on a new pair of socks um, because I realized that the um, there's going to be a film, not film festival, a yarn festival in Dusseldorf, also middle of August. And I am going to be there and I'm going to help out with the um, organization where we collect the green socks for women who um, have ovarian cancer or other cancers. And um, yeah, and I, I've asked people to knit green socks and bring them if they come there. And um, so I thought I should knit another pair of green socks. I do knit green socks every now and then. And I think I knit at least one pair during the sock madness again. But I wanted to knit another pair just to uh, remind you, if you're in Germany, you can, um, and if you're coming to Düsseldorf, you can come and bring your green socks. If not, uh, you could send them in, but uh, if you're not in Germany, I can understand if you won't. <laughs> but these are the green socks that I started. This is a really old um, ball of Opal sock yarn. The series Classics is, is um, it's many years ago that they did the, these colors. But I, um, there's green in there and I like the way the pattern looks with this um, color so this is what the yarn looks like if you just knit it stock in it just normal sock and this is what the pattern looks like um i learned the pattern from a customer when i was still working at volle Rudels, and uh, she didn't know what it was called and there's a pattern on ravelry called estonian estonian spiral pattern something like that so i linked to that pattern but I actually didn't knit from, it's a Japanese book uh, that I'm linking. So I don't have that book. And I just uh, learned to knit the pattern from a customer. And I could just put the pattern on the Ravelry page because it's really, really simple. But very effective. Um, because of the spiraling effect, it tends to sort of um, get a bit smaller, which is why I increased um, my um the number of stitches to 66 just for this um for the pattern part and then i went down to 60 again for the rest of the sock yeah but quite happy with that another green pair of um, socks to donate 
that's it with socks for now. Um, there's another small project out of sock yarn that I, it's another project that I showed in the hobby special video where I'm showing off the, the hobby yarn that I was sent by hobby and I um, started a little sort of cuff um, wrist warmer uh, out. This is an eight ply sock yarn and um, and I just knit a little wrist warmer just to try it out, just to see how the colors work together, the yarn works together. Really happy with it. So I finished it and started the next one. And again, I'm using the Chaogu mini circular needle because that's what I like to do for the um, color work projects because then I don't have the floats. I don't have to manage the floats with changing needles. So that's quite nice. And um, yeah. It's a very simple pattern um, but I'm happy with it and this is going to be number two and then we get to the um, to the clothes I'm knitting out of sock yarn and I am um, I continued knitting on the gnome pullover by Sarah Shearer so right now it's uh, very easy knitting um, I finished the the little mushrooms and now it's just one color stockinette to the armholes and then I can take the sleeves that I've already knit and put everything together and then the yoke will have this these gnomes uh, in the yoke and this is the hat I knit as a gauge swatch <laughs> So then I, I'll have a pullover and a hat that go together. And I'm also planning on knitting um, the tiny gnomes out of those colors so I can wear the earrings with the pullover and the hat. And I might do that as uh, this month's gnomes because I haven't knit a July gnome yet. Yeah, but the pullover itself is just simple stock in it. Um, yeah, good film knitting. And then I continued knitting on the cardigan that I'm knitting. <laughs> that was a black cardigan to start with, but it's the um, rainbow. No, it's the party cardi by um, Telebean Knits, I think. And I'm using my uh, um, Voldaku neon minis out of the advent calendar from two years ago. And for... The first two stripes, I had to um, use the second mini in that color to knit the last, I think, one and a half rows or something. And because with the second stripe, the stripes um, start, no, with the third stripe, the stripes start getting smaller because we knit decreases at the lower edge. So it's sort of a rounded edge. And I was hoping to get the stripe done with one of the 20 gram minis. And I didn't. So I finished the yarn. Um, I, I finished the 20 gram mini and I still have to knit these stitches. So this is the end of the row and these are the stitches that I still have to knit. And then I'm done with this stripe. So it's not a lot and I didn't have the mini with me. It was here in my shop so I couldn't finish the stripe. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure with the fourth and fifth stripe, one mini should be enough because I will continue to decrease stitches. And, um, and that means that it's also fewer rows <clears throat> and then one 20 gram mini should be enough. Yeah, I can't really show the, the cardigan because I ha I'm in the middle of the row. <laughs> but next time I'll, I'll make sure I'll, um, I'm at the end of the row and I'll try and remember to put the long cable in and then I can show you what the jacket looks like. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. And then we come to the um, cotton project. I did not bring the um, vortex shawl. I did uh, knit a few pattern repeats of the knitted on edge that I'm doing. But I had so many things to carry today that I left that at home and I'll try and do more this week and then show it again to you next week. 
Um, I continued crocheting on the Talavera blanket, the crochet along from Simply Crochet, and I finished the third part of the pattern. So this pattern comes in parts, and every um, issue of the Simply Crochet magazine has one part of the pattern. The first part was the round bit, the second part was I think until this blue stripe, and then this from here to here is the third part of the pattern and this month's um, issue has the fourth part so I can continue crocheting and I can try and finish the fourth part before the next uh, issue of Simply uh, Crochet is published but we'll see. Um, I had a bit of trouble with this blue row with these cross stitches because the um, explanation of the pattern I thought was not quite clear so I misunderstood it and I I crocheted one side of the square and then realized it um, didn't work out the way it was supposed to so I had to undo it go through the numbers again and then I realized what they wanted me to do and then I did hit right <laughs> and then there were two more rows um, in this part of the pattern yeah but I really like the way the pattern looks. I still wish they would work with a chart more. I think a chart would have been more, a lot clearer in that instance. But as long as it works, it's fine. And uh, I can start on part number four. So that's that. I did not um, knit on the memory blanket, but I continued crocheting on the dinosaur blanket and I did not manage to crochet 10 rows, but that was not so much my fault. But I finished the second 150 gram ball of yarn uh, for the colorful yarn. I still have a bit of the blue left and um, I continued crocheting the head, the dinosaur's head. So this is just another spot. It's not the eye and this blue line means that I finished crocheting the lower, uh, what's that part called? Um, can't think of the word. So the, this lower part of the mouth, so to say, is, is this bit. And I think there will be a few teeth. And then the upper part of the mouth uh, will be crocheted. And this is sort of a bit of like on the back of the head. And then the eye will be up here somewhere. And the hand is now completely finished. I think it was almost finished last week. And I'm still crocheting on the tail. So I'm not showing the whole thing today. <laughs> I'll do that again next week. Yeah, so I can start the third, uh, the two third balls of yarn difficult <laughs> anyway so that was the dinosaur blanket then on to the tell of no that was a crochet blanket this is the high sierra shawl this is a pattern by Romy Romy Hill um, and last week I showed you the um, lace pattern that was just knit on one half of the shawl and I had finished that so I picked up stitches from the side of this um, lace pattern and I'm now back to knitting all the stitches and I put in a long <laughs> cable um, actually this is the the needle that was in the vortex shawl and I still have this long cable in there even though the number of stitches on my cable was decreasing um, so I switched I put this long cable in this shawl and I put the small needle that I had um, that I started this shawl on put that in the vortex shawl so that's a lot easier to manage now so now you can see what um, this shawl is going to look like so I um, this was the beginning triangle then some stripes then I knit this lace pattern and now I'm knitting a few more stripes I think I think there'll be just one more black stripe and then I'm going to knit the next lace pattern over on these stitches 
and then there will be more stripes and then another lace pattern and so on and so forth and uh, yep yeah, really enjoy that it's a beautiful yarn um, yeah really happy with that and then I'm already at the last project the knit along we're doing the tiny little baby socks um, and I I really showed you these socks last week but I hadn't uh, sewn in the ends and now I've sewn in all the ends and I mean considering these are two tiny socks I had to sew in 10 ends and that's because not only did I have a beginning and end to each sock but I had to put in some other yarn for the toe because the 10 grams weren't enough so it was four ends on this sock and then with this sock I actually had two knots in the 10 gram mini and I never leave the knots in I always undo the knots and then weave in the ends so it was actually two for the beginning and end and then four more ends for the two knots that were in the ball and then it was a lot of weaving in ends for just this tiny pair of socks but that's okay and then I started knitting a pair of socks out of the leftover yarn from a little baby jacket I knit um, a while ago and um, that was another pattern battle pattern that I knit and I finished the first sock to go with the jacket um, and I started the second one so the stripes are actually offset so this is the same stripe here so um, they will be a bit different but not too different and I um, just put in a very simple uh, pattern of one round knit one per one and then two rounds of knitting and then repeat those and it's just a very simple pattern but it does make it a bit more interesting and especially it makes it a lot easier to count the rows so I always think with socks if you have a pattern it's so much easier to count the rows and because it's easy to count the rows it's easy to get two socks the same size so that's basically the main one of the main reasons I put patterns into socks but also because I enjoy knitting them and if everything was just stuck in that in the round it would just get too boring for me <laughs> yeah so that was fairly quick again today but I think that's okay um I yeah that was everything I knit and crocheted last week I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one bye